Welcome my friends, I'm Daily Fix and we're playing EU4 as Cologne. Let's uh, continue where we left off. Now, we have a bit of a thing going on. <laughs> Why? Why, Brayman? Insult us? Like, I care. Um, uh, the rebels are annoying. And it is slowly dying out. We're at 4 at the moment, so this actually was going rather fast. We'll lose about 2... Oh, actually, we'll lose 1 unrest in 2 years time. Which is still extremely high. Uh, Oldenbrook is almost down towards its autonomy. So we'll gain more money. We want to develop. And we want to embrace the renaissance. Because I don't want to pay 700 in technology. That's just bull. So we do need to develop. And make sure that we can embrace the renaissance. So the institute renaissance is not big, uh, big enough a hold in your country to fully embrace. It needs to be embraced at least 10% of your nation of your autonomy there you go modify development oh damn so actually increasing the autonomy over here uh shot me in the foot we needed to go over here and that is next year it is going to be present hopefully i can embrace and then we can start with the with the development of groningen uh, since it's grassland it has cloth it is quite expensive we can actually Put a few points here in admin uh, and diplo. Also military. Look at this, guys. We have so much in military. Perhaps I should have taken a military technology. Uh, like maybe quantity ideas of quality. Quality is also good. National manpower. Recovery. Reg uh, regime. Maintenance. Uh, supply. Uh, garrison size and land attrition. Actually quite nice. Who will you go away? Um... Jubilee, Jubilee in Köln. National unrest, negative one. That would help. Or devotion. I'll go for the negative unrest. And the papal states, they approve. They approve. They are like, yeah, man. You're doing well. You're doing well. So this is now at three. Due to the uh, negative one we got. That changes a lot. That's great. So hopefully we'll get the renaissance over here. Next few months. There we go. It is present. Can we embrace the renaissance? We can. We just need a tiny, tiny bit more money. Do we take a loan? Well, we don't need to right away. We will embrace. We don't need to take a loan. And then it is about developing time. Because that will um, drop the technology cost great, uh, a great deal. And we don't need to take this right now. What's this? Uh, let's gain admin. Uh, I think the paper might not improve. But we don't care. Lose admin or gain admin? What kind of question is that? That would make no sense. So, uh, embrace an institution. So, we are going to take this. Who is idle? Uh, target is allies. Our allies are happy. Let's make sure they keep being happy. So, you are free. I um, still want to go with threatening countries. Hopefully, you will go to Austria. Let us embrace... Right now, technology cost negative 20%. As you can see, it was now down to 580. And we're almost there to get military tech. But doing that would be the dumbest thing I could possibly do. This would gain manpower. Devastation will go down, which is also a problem with the unrest. Let us take the edict here and go for... Encourage development. And it even is... A lower amount right now so let's get this up and I want to get this not too high the unrest should probably die out let's get this up as well 21 how much would we need 32 we're on 23 so we're not there yet this is going to be the highest developed country that I have or actually province that I have uh, one more. Uh, 
Uh, almost dead, 28. We can wait for a tiny bit. And this would probably get my garrison up to 9 again. So let's make sure we get ourselves the money. And we get a ton now. Uh, how do we get our money? So... Mm, only 0 0.9 from war reps. Fort maintenance is zero. Actually, we could probably do with a fort here in Osnabrück. Or in, yeah, Groningen, I don't know. No, Osnabrück, because it will cover a lot of territory. And we'll have to deal with Bergen still. Uh, but as long as England and Burgundy are not at war, that is not happening. Okay, France is at war. England isn't. Burgundy isn't. Who are you at war with? The Papal State, Portugal, and Genoa. I don't care we lost that causes belly. At all. Now this will also mean that some of these buildings would actually do quite good over here. If memory serves me correct. 2.6, not the best, not the worst. As for taxation. No, it's because of the autonomy. Yeah. Oh well, what can you do about it, huh? We can actually spend more military here. We're still so far ahead. As for the rest, I don't think so. Let's see, 32, two more. There we go. That should be enough to get the 32. Yes, we do. So we'll gain... Uh, we were on plus 3, and I'm thinking plus 4. Maybe plus even, even plus 5. Uh, we'll see next tick. Oh, thank you for uh, ruining that moment for me. Yeah, there you go. Plus five. Um, embrace reputation or lose stability. Uh, what is more expensive? Um, yeah, so if I have to choose between losing stability and having to spend 150 admin or losing 100 diplo... I'll, for now, take the hit in my Diplo. This should die out quite fast, but it's already at 70%. What will this mission do? What is, does it do? Construction, cost, and time. Let's save and this until we have more money. A two electors back in Cologne. That would be interesting. Defender of the Empire. Interesting, actually. Is there a possibility of getting uh, elected? I don't think so. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Let's save up on the rest. And that additional diplomat would be very nice. Uh, but we need to build ships. And I want to have three. And I want to get myself... Do we, can, are we able to get an explorer? I don't think so. I think we actually need the, um, the technology for it. Yeah, quest of the new world. So in order to get an explorer, we will need the idea group that allows exploration. Since... This will allow the recruitment of explorers and conquistadors. Economic idea group would be very nice. National tax modifier. Construction cost, yearly inflation. This actually is very nice. We should take this one next. And we'll just see in which one we're going to be developing. We know we have a lot of military, but we can still develop a lot of our territory here. Don't need to take this right now. I'm still... Very happy with the development, even though the autonomy is so extremely high in here. It did help out with my troops. So, for now, let's get yourself an infantry. Uh, yeah, 9 of 9. Uh, how many? We can build up ships. 15 ships! <laughs> oh, sweet! We would have a very considerable navy. That changes a few things, because we can actually pr protect our trade in, in this region over here. And it also... Should we change the location of our merchants? Ten years. Um, we don't have to worry about it. In ten years, the unrest should 
have gone away. And it's going to take us about, oh wow, more than 20 years to kill the autonomy over here. Um, we can almost lose some autonomy for unrest. Uh, wouldn't actually be the worst decision. Uh, let's take negative 10, deploy idea, let's get the docks. Uh, what would be the next institution? Colonism. Um, how do we get that? The following provinces have embraced colonism. Okay. I guess. How does one get that? Create. It is not created in this world yet. Okay. Uh, accept knowledge sharing. Well, that's, that's good for them, I guess. Uh, what to do with Burgle? Let's, let's wait. Let's wait until we lose this rebel faction. Because we're actually losing a lot of money due to uh, all of this. 50%. Um, we actually have a base of 0, 0.16. So half of it is already like gone. This is still the same mission, right? Yeah. Then go away. Don't need to be reminded of that. And we could mo probably get ourselves... Oh, our advisor is gone. Let's go with the trade reputation again. Please don't leave me. I would hate that. I do want to keep a nice increase in my points here. Is this slowly dying? I think it is. I would like to see this if, if it were to go up or down. I don't want to go below 50, so a war will have to happen. Who are my rivals? Brunswick? What if I go to war against Brunswick? Just to show strength. Show strength would be nice. Uh, anyone else? So embracing the renaissance in all of my states would help me with this. Controlling centers of trade, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Discovering America is not going to happen soon. Three thrones not happening, present on two continents. Well, so yeah, we'll, we will probably not get too many points yet. Uh, let's wait until we hit the negative 10. Otherwise, uh, we'll just see what we can do with it. Are we? Yes. No, this is Denmark. Did we do Austria yet? No, but we're at negative 20. So that means that we are looking at a good... 16 years without the chances for us to gain Berg. Uh, but we'll just in we will just vassalize Cleves. Please be at bloody war. This makes no sense. Stop doing this. I want them. And we'll break the alliances. We'll actually be quite strong though. They will have to pay us and we'll just wait. Would they we'll take the um the idea group? We could do that like influence ideas national unrest negative two would be so nice because it's actually taking us a long time influence started influence nations cleaves the pain of england would change by 25 for 10 years until a war breaks out oh well so this was it is still 400 so this was not affected by the idea group. Now, if we can fully take this, we could probably get the Holy Order. Discipline plus 5 for our troops. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I think it, it would count like that. There will be blood. England? No, that's... Is that England? It was England. Well, they like us. They don't care about the... England would be a good ally... Negative 58. Ally to... Well, okay. So, actually, if we were not rivaling Cleves, it would only be a negative 8. So, we would be very close to some very, very capable allies. How about you? 55. And... Neutral attitude. No, we could not take a nose. France. 
I think we would be been even closer with France. Uh, they don't care about the terrain as well. Burgundy, on the other hand, he is part of the HRE. 66. Cleves. Yeah, some of them were some of them were very, very close. Uh, we're just gaining eight. The rebel faction is dying out. You know what that means? We are starting to make money. And we're getting six sailors. So maybe we should get ourselves a few boats. And we're actually... Are we low on... Did I do that? Yes, I did already lose the, uh, the army maintenance. Oh god, again? Stop dying. National unrest, negative two. Yearly inflation reduction. Uh, missionary strength doesn't really help us. Yeah, it just cost us 2.6 more. It's not that big of a deal. So, I would most likely go for the additional unrest. If he just didn't die. Now that we are low on the unrest here. What we could just do is uh, perhaps stop managing these rebels. Uh, gain prestige or papal influence. We could probably send him to Rome for this time. And I'm still hoping to get ourselves a cardinal. And we're, a, we're having a crusade against Tunis. Wasn't aware of that. So he called for a crusade and I guess the almost none, order, uh, none were honoring that kind of a call. Let's go, um, actually let's move you one province to see what the difference is. Unfortunately it will take us about a month or the next tick. No, unrest has died out. Cannot be lower than 25, I'm okay with that. I wish I could do something about this. So we're starting to gain even more money. Gain devotion or prestige. Uh, yeah, I kind of like the prestige though. Uh, the papals might not like that. But who cares. So my troops are just standing over here. We could start drilling to get more army tradition. We still need to get our advisor back. Uh, we want to take this once this hits like zero or so. Hmm, do I? Let's see, trade. Plus free in Groningen. Taxation. It's not that much, it's just 0 0.07. Uh, defensive fort I want to have in here. We should go for it. Uh, but it will cost me 205 gold. That's, uh, that's that's quite huge. That also is not the biggest improvement. Navy. Yeah, that would be nice. Getting, uh, getting a navy docks in there. Uh, the fort I want in here. But we can always do that. So we just have to wait. Uh, this soon will go into... Morale of armies most likely. Or yearly prestige... We, so we lose less prestige. That actually would not be bad. Yearly prestige plus one. And this way we would only lose 0.11 each year. Not bad. Not bad at all. What's the time? Oh, almost there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that means that we eventually will have to uh, end this episode. And let us start by building our very first ship. And see what it can do for us. So, of course it's going to be barks. 20 gold. 
We can have 15. However, sailors will get 6 each month. So, uh, I think it's like one sailor per ship. Am I right or wrong about this? Not quite sure, but I'm happy that we're building our very first boat. As for our armies, let's just move them towards cleaves. And we'll just have to wait until this trigger. We know it triggers, right? So, once they're in a different war, we can declare upon them. Hopefully, they will not join uh, this war and we will vassalize uh, Cleves. I think that would be the best decision. Oh, God, again. Oh, man, that's not good. 359. Yeah, we desperately need an advisor over here. I wish that you could see what it do uh, what it would do. Clarity would be below 15. Can we do something about that? Generous donation? Don't want to do that. Oh wow, the burgers. Let's demand some points. Now we can ask for uh, money. We'll do that. Why didn't I do that? 63. Something that would lose with the burgers, I would not mind. They would easily be able to lose 15. Going with a the theologian. Yeah, I think that's the only thing that we could do. Let's do it like this. And... No. We can demand. Which is okay. So, once again, we are not making too many of this. Ah, that's horrible. We do need to get this. National unrest. Yeah, you know. Missionary strength. Yeah, the unrest here will be sickening. So, let's get the national unrest guy. And we'll stop focusing. Five, six, seven. I think that would be nice. We can take a additional diplomat. And uh, we're 15 ahead. So I'm actually going to... Let's take that diplomat. Here we go. And let's start sending you. We'll have more than enough threatening countries. So let's do that. Well, they're all above 100. Not too many changes. And uh, we'll have to wait. I want to wait till 10% again. Ah, oh, damn. We have to stop this episode again. Damn. I don't want that. Um, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We're building ships. Uh, autonomy will die out. And we will gain 0 0.8 free. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And we all know it. So, hopefully you are enjoying. We're waiting to, uh, to do some war again. Uh, who are your allies? Yeah, you got a bunch of them. Bomifia, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, diplomatic reputation increases. We have a, a work point three, and probably next point four, not. No, uh, we have point three, which is quite nice. Everyone will love us. That's precisely what we want. So, in terms of going to wars, a uh, Galra semi likes me. Do we have enough rivals? We have Cleves, Brunswick, and Munster. Munster is still, still my rival. Now we have to deal eventually also with Gelra and use a diplomat to start building spy networks like everywhere around me. Uh, Thierry, he loves me. He loves me. He uh, owes me a great deal. We can increase the trust and ju or just ask him to go into two wars with us. Would be nice to vassalize him, getting Tier in there as well. And that would be, well, more than enough. But then again, England and Burgundy. They're so annoying. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.